Hello YouTube. Just want to start off by saying a massive thank you to all of you guys who are following and who are um, liking all the images on my Instagram account. It's an absolute pleasure to be taking all these pictures and having people who appreciate them um, chat and just sharing the love of our favourite fandoms. This one is a bit of a request and I'm going to start off by saying I'm sorry I'm filming this one-handed. <laughs> I've been running up and down the stairs as I've been watching the dogs so I apologise for being out of breath. So I'm sure you can tell this is a video about the Harry Potter Noble Collection ones. Now, uh, yeah, so I got these from London. You can order them online, but when I get one of these, I like to actually say it's come from, uh, you know, the studios or the platform nine, nine and three quarters, which is at King's Cross, which is where I got these two. But we're going to start off with this one first, which is Dumbledore's. So obviously it's the elder one. I got this one. I'm so sorry guys, I'm <laughs> doing this all one handed. I got this one from, uh, again bear with me, it takes two hands to open the box, maybe I should have opened them all up beforehand, if I will do, I'm just going to quickly open up them all, just so I can, in the long run it'll be quicker. Just opening up that one, one left. Okay, we can. Here we are, sorry about that. So, this was the one I got from Harry Potter Studios the first time I went. It cost me 23, £25 pound, uh, because they've now gone up to 30 And it is, of course, the older one. And I absolutely love this. When I went to the Harry Potter Studios, there was only one wand I wanted. There was only one wand I was ever going to get, and it was this one. The Deathly Hallows Elder Wand. And it's absolutely perfect. I love it. I love how it just looks like it's come from, you know, an old oak tree. Because the, the effect of it, maybe further at the end, it starts to go and you can tell. Come on, focus. But no, 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 it's cool. It, really, it looks absolutely superb. Superb from the novel collection. And this is what you can get from the Harry Potter Studios in London. I've been lucky enough to go there twice. I went once uh, just before I started college. So that was when I was 17, 18. Yeah, 18, definitely. I was just about to turn 18. <laughs> and so I got this then and I just really didn't care. It was a huge shop and there were so many people all trying to shop around and grab the one they wanted and I just pulled out a load of these Dumbledore boxes. I sat in the corner of the Harry Potter studios and I just literally lay them all out. I examined every single one to make sure that I got the best condition one, which was very selfish of me. As the real issue wasn't the wand, it was more or less this here because some of them were discoloured. So I think that was... There's that there you can see where the ink is missing a bit but uh my attitude was i can easily anything to do with these i can easily paint in myself like there's a dot missing there but i still haven't got around to doing that yet because i'm mean, messing up um because the i mean there was some where it was a bit green in places and i wanted mine to just uh look quite you know all, all one color I didn't mind the green because you could have said it was when the wand was breaking because of when Voldemort was using it. But no, this is what I wanted. This is absolutely class. I love the the handle is wicked. I love the way how, you know, it, it gives you so much, like all the all the wizards have their own way of holding things, and you can just there's so many ways you can do it with this. It's uh, it's a really cool wand. It's it's also one of the longest, which is why it's hardly ever in the full shot like that. So we'll leave that there absolutely beautiful the craftsmanship on it is spot on so um years later me and my girlfriend were down in london i had a job down there which i was really excited about and we were right next to king's cross and it was my girlfriend who wasn't a harry potter but a harry, harry potter fan before she met me and she said i'm sure there's a shop at king's cross that does harry potter and it did ring a bell so i thought you know what? you're probably right there so 
we went and had a look and there was platform platform nine and three quarters and it was amazing it was like a little mini shop that you get at the, the studios so i said well look, you can't come to a show same thing as the studios you can't come to the studios and not get a wand so i thought i'm going to get a wand and of course platform nine and three quarters i got harry's and it was the exact same thing i pulled about five boxes out it, i examined every single one because i wanted to get it where it was accurate and what i mean by that is the prop that uh, daniel radcliffe used it was quite brown on this section like burntish and then like a nice clean wood at the end of the wand uh, and there was there was lots but this was the one you can see how the color changes and the light in this room doesn't really do it as much justice but this was the one that was just spot on so i just put this one back in its box and went this one please and it's absolutely gorgeous it's an absolutely gorgeous one it feels very sturdy the problem with this one if you can tell is that the elder wand is quite thin so like holding this it's not so much you know playing with it because you don't want to play with it and we'll get to that in a minute it's uh, from you know taking photos taking it out it does feel that with enough effort it could break <laughs> so it's because none of these are toys these are not toys uh, but with this one it's quite thick same thing with the uh malfoy wand which i'd like to get my hands on so this one is really cool uh, and then a couple of months later because we've been down to london and been to the shop and me and my girlfriend because you know what i mean in london the like we have primark and uh, a lot of the primarks have a little harry potter section but there was a, a huge harry potter section in a london primark so it sort of put me and my girlfriend in the mood for Harry Potter. <laughs> so she, had, she hadn't been to the studios and I had. So we uh, put some money together and we went down and, and she wouldn't buy herself a wand. She wanted a wand, but she said, no, I'm not brave enough because, you know, I'm an adult. And I said, Han, I, no one cares. Just get yourself a wand because, you, you know, you've come this far and she wouldn't. So I, I bought her a Harry Potter one. So she has this in a room. Um, she has it uh, pride and place in a room, but she won't tell anybody she has it. So I sort of tease her and say, oh, well, you like magic, don't you? And she just look at me and just say, shut up, because she does get embarrassed about this kind of thing, being a muggle and all. So, yeah, she has this one and I had to, I had to get this set. I couldn't not. So I bought the Voldemort and I'm really impressed with this. So, so impressed with this. It's just... I'm trying to get it all in the shot. It's just absolutely superb. Again, I pulled a few out. That's the word a lot of people. Well, there's always a lot of people, but it was so many people. And I was also trying to pick a decent one for my girlfriend. And it's just so cool. I love it. I love how it looks like a bone. It's got the same kind of, you know, because they're, they're twins in the story. And I love that how they, they gave them that similar aspect there with Harry's when Harry uses his this is at the top when Voldemort uses his his is at the bottom and you can see because with the hook it sort of rests on Voldemort's hand which is why it's sort of he holds it like this and it has a nice little bend to it which is accurate and it looks absolutely it looks so cool so cool and it's nice to have this set as a I'm not really going to go all out and get every single wand. I know there are a lot of people who do that, and that's epic. But with me, I like to have, you know, the main ones. That's definitely Harry's Voldemort and the Elder Wand. And it's just a, a brilliant, brilliant items to have. They look great in my cabinet. And yeah, so, as I said, these are not toys. They all come with this in the box, in the Wonder Box. And that is very true. When I first went and I bought my Elder Wand, uh, my sister bought herself a Ginny Weasley one. And uh, she would have been about eight at the time. And she loved it. She, she thought it was lovely. Here it is. And it is, it is a very nice wand. She just had to dig this out for me. I said, where is it? Because there's something about yours I want to show people. And being the kid she was, she was doing magic spells. And uh, she she said that it was a fan. She knocked it on a fan in a bedroom, and you can see here that she chipped the end. Come on, focus. She 
tube to the end. And that's still all right for her because you know she, she usually displays it this way in a room but it's one of those where when she takes it down and has a look at it it's just that bit there just trying to there you go see it's just a, just a little scuff just a little chip but uh she was i was watching her at the time she wasn't playing with it like full on like a little kid smacking it about she was just you know in guardian levios and just caught it and chipped it so these are not ones, these are replicas. Uh, these are ones. These are not toys, these are replicas. Um, there are far more better options for toys. I think the, the normal collection have these little mystery ones, which are the same as these, but a bit more shorter. So that's Jimmy's. Which is another beauty. Uh, and so yeah, I got my girlfriend into Harry Potter and when by the time she was into it, we literally chain watched the whole of the films. And I said, you don't understand because you didn't have to wait for any of these films to come out because you were able to just watch them all in one go when you got interested. And then Fantastic Beasts came along and she got into that and she bought me for my birthday a Newt Scamander one. I'll give you a minute. <laughs> Trying to figure out where it's from. This is a £10 one off eBay. Excuse me. Uh, and it's actually surprised. It is inaccurate, obviously. But it's actually quite impressive at the same time. I love that in there. How, how you know, it's a proper... Proper... Oh, come on, focus. See that? It's like a nice little little slot where the wand has been broken with this nice reflective silver you can see where the it was designed to be painted but it's like someone has just got fed up and just blocked some paint around it and said that will do and it has this going up it which i'm guessing is i'm just gonna hold you down there sorry which is where i'm guessing it sat while it dried when somebody painted it I'm not sure what it's made out of. As I said, it just came in a box and that was it. The box is very nice as well. That's in my cabinet. As even though this is uh, not accurate, I don't have the heart to not take it out because, you know, my girl, if it's a present of my girlfriend, I'm sure you'll understand, and girls as well, if you have boyfriends or girlfriends. So, <clears throat> right, so if you have a partner, you understand. So, <laughs> so, um, so I don't have the heart to take this out. But it's actually, right, even though it's it's really thin, not, not well, it's th thinner than the Harry Potters, a bit more thicker than the older one. It, it has got, it's you know, it's tried its best for detail from where the animals, uh, while well, the magical creatures have been chewing it, which sort of makes me think if you were going to get a one that was rubbish, Newt's is probably the best, as it's not really supposed to be a looker, even though the noble collections are. It's quite durable. It's actually the one wand that you'd think is cheaper, uh, would break, but it's actually quite strong if it breaks now. Just hit the box. It's quite strong, and that's really impressive. Uh, it's one of them ones that I can take out to conventions if I wanted to, and would have no fear of holding and waving it around all day and playing along. It's actually, for an eBay wand, it's quite impressive it's not accurate but you know exactly what it's what it's supposed to be and i just think it you know it looks cool it looks cool so i'm going to put that there and it's also something unique <laughs> which unless someone else has got one I'll just show that bit because I, I love that bit there so it's a nice little wand and then of course we've all seen this one before i'm just going to get it out for comparison's sake while i have done this is my personal and i love this absolutely love this this is my personal wand, wand from Pottermore so thank you uh, wand makers and I'm going to get this out here it is oh, absolutely love love this there, there is a video on this where I've discussed it until it's about it it's just it's such a wicked item to have if you love the Pottermore's yeah, and I am actually a Gryffindor. I, I know, I'm shocked. I'm shocked. I thought I'd be a Hufflepuff. 
but I'm a Gryffindor and I did it a few times and just answered them honestly and it spat out Gryffindor. And I was just, I was dead chuffed for that. I was like, yes, knew it. And it makes sense because I want my channel to be great and Gryffindors want to be great. So, and you're all great, so you all must be Gryffindors. So thank you guys. My opinions on this one, and this was, as I say, I'm sorry, I forgot to give the shout out. This was a request from uh, Sonic Screwdrivers and Other Things. Or is it Sonic Props and Other Things? I'm sorry, mate. <laughs> I'm sorry, mate. Uh, so this is a request. You can go check him out on Instagram. Sonic Screwdrivers and Sonic Screwdrivers and Other Things. Such a cool uh, Instagram account. All these nice pictures on there. It's a pleasure talking to you, mate. Honestly, it really is. It's a pleasure talking to all of you. Any more requests, if there's something, as I say, if you're a big fan of, uh, I, I love Overwatch, so I've got a few Overwatch things, uh, but anything, you know, are you a fan of this, are you a fan of the Transformers, are you a fan of anything, just let me know and I'll say what I've got if I've got anything and I can do a review. So all of you Nerds Archive followers, whether it's the Instagram or the YouTube, thank you so much, you guys are absolute legends. Uh, if you're a YouTube follower then go and check out my instagram I, I hope you'll enjoy that and please subscribe well please like and follow that uh vice versa if you are an instagram follower please subscribe to me on facebook it really means a lot i'd like to equal out uh, everything as my instagram is doing more well <laughs> it's doing well thank you all again so so much and i hope that wherever you are in the world you're safe you're beating this horrible horrible virus and it will all be over soon, hopefully. So until then, guys, you're all amazing. Keep being legends and mischief managed.